Hey people, it's me, Anya. My pronouns are she and ho. And welcome back to my channel. And please don't forget to donate to Palestine. Today's video focuses on my favorite Asian historical fiction books. And I'm so excited to film this video because if you didn't know, historical fiction is one of my favorite genres. So I'm just so excited. So anyway, the first book on this list is called The Weight of Old Sky. This book is a YA historical fiction story following a young teen in 1969 in Malaysia during their historic race riots of 1969 and she has OCD and she will do anything to reunite with her mom. This book is so good. First of all, it's so insightful and it's so educational. I knew next to nothing about this historical time period prior to reading this book, so I definitely learned a lot from this book. This story is so good. The plot is so intriguing. The world building is so well developed and it's so well done. The main character is such a wonderful, well developed, resilient character. The OCD representation was so lovely. This book is so good. It's absolutely so, so good. This author is so talented and she did such a great job crafting this world with these characters with such a well developed, intriguing plot. You know what I mean? This book is absolutely so, so good, and with that, I would highly, highly recommend it. The next book on this list is called The Night Diary. This book is a middle-grade historical fiction story following a young girl in 1947 during India's portrition. This book is absolutely so good. First of all, again, this is a time period that I knew nothing about prior to reading it. Like, not even next to nothing. I knew literally nothing about this time period prior to reading it, so I had no idea what to expect from the plot or the world building or anything like that. This story is so good. I love historical fiction so much because I learn so much from it, and it's also coupled with such a great story as well. This story is so good. The plot is so intriguing. The world building was so well done. The format of the story is so lovely. The characters in the story were so well developed and distinct. This story is so good and it's so underrated. And for what? This story is so good. I really, really enjoyed it. I was so emotionally invested every single step of the way because A, I had no idea what would happen next and B, I was so emotionally attached to this main character because she is such a wonderful, well-developed, distinct character and I love her. This book is so good. So with that, I would highly, highly recommend it. The next book on this list is called Red, White, and Whole. This book is a middle-grade historical fiction story following an Indian American girl in 1983 whose life gets turned upside down when her mom is diagnosed with leukemia. This book is absolutely so good. It's absolutely so wonderful and it's so lovely and I really, really enjoyed it. First of all, the plot is so intriguing and it's so well done. Second of all, the world building is so lovely and it's so immersive. I can count on one hand the amount of books that I've read that are set in the 80s. So reading a book that is set in the 80s following a person of color is so refreshing and it's so wonderful and it's like so wonderful i just said that it's so lovely anyway so i said the plot is so intriguing the world building is so wonderful the characterization is so wonderful and it's so well done the main character is such a wonderful lovely well-developed distinct character and i love her voice so so much this book is so good. You can truly tell that this book is own voices because it's so lovely and it's so wonderful. Count on how many times I say wonderful and lovely. I really need to hit up with the source or something because I keep saying the same words over and over again. But anyway, the point is, this story is so good. It is so lovely and wholesome and so good. So with that, I would highly, highly recommend it. The next book on this list is called We Are Not Free by Tracy Chi. This book is a YA historical fiction story set during World War II and it follows 14 Japanese American teenagers whose lives are forever changed by the mass incarceration camps 
of World War II. This book is absolutely so incredible. It is so good and it's so underrated and it deserves so much more hype. This book deserves just as much hype as the book piece. This book is absolutely so incredible and I love it so, so much. Tracy Chi is such an underrated author. Her writing is so incredible and it's so immersive and it's so wonderful and it's so lovely and I literally love her. Her books are so incredible and they're so underrated. This book is so good. First of all, it's so insightful and it's so educational and it's so awesome. Second of all, the plot is so intriguing. Third of all, all 14 of the characters were so well developed and distinct and I love them all individually. I was kind of afraid since there were 14 of them that they will all blur together or something like that, but no, they're all so distinct. This book is so good. It is so incredibly awesome. Tracy Chi deserves so much more hype. Her books are incredible. I love them so, so much. This book is so good. It was one of my favorites last year, like of all time. And that says a lot since I read so many books last year. But the point is, this book is so incredible. It's absolutely so awesome. So please, please go read it. Like I said, this book deserves just as much hype as the book thief, which is obviously a very high compliment. But anyway, this book is so incredible. Please, please go read it. The last book on this list is probably the most popular on this list because with my recommended reads videos, I try to focus on the more underrated books first. So anyway, the book is Last Night at the Telegraph Club. This book is a YA historical fiction book following a Chinese American lesbian in the 1950s. This book is so good and it absolutely deserves all of its hype and so much more. This book is absolutely so lovely and it's so wonderful. This author is so talented. This story is so lovely. The plot was so intriguing and it was so well done. The romance is so lovely and it's so well developed and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed how the author tackled both racism and homophobia. This book is so good. I personally really enjoyed it. I don't know why I said that. Obviously, I really enjoy this book, which is why I've recommended it so many times. Anyway, this book is so good, and it absolutely deserves all its hype and so much more. Every single element of this story was so well developed when it came to the romance, the plot, the world building, the setting, the characters. This book is so good, and it absolutely deserves all its hype and so much more. So clearly, I highly recommend it. So, in conclusion, I think it's really important to read historical fiction starring people of color because since history is so often whitewashed, as a result, historical fiction is so often very, very white and it's very annoying and it's very frustrating as a person of color. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below the tent emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!